Hi Scorpios, welcome to your February reading. Thank you so much for tuning in and also for your patience on this reading. I really appreciate that. Um, Scorpios, what's going on? I tuned into your energy and I just really felt like the hat space was so overcrowded. Like you guys are going over something. Maybe some of you are trying to find an answer, you know, from somebody. Maybe you are uncertain about a certain situation, how it's going to play out and you just want to know, you know, you just want to know for sure and then you can take a break and relax. I feel that a lot of you have hard times with actually relax, relaxing, you know, just relaxing the mind, relaxing the body, relaxing the soul. It's just, I feel this uh, feeling of, um, yeah, it's a really overcrowded hat space. So I'm going to tune in for you guys to see what's that, what that, what's wow what that is about <laughs> and if we can work through that today let's see first i'm picking up an affirmation for you guys for the month of february what's the affirmation there we go this is it beautiful through prayer and meditation i create a ripple effect of peace in the world maybe in your world first know in your imaginary world <laughs> in your world and at the people around you and the people around your people and the people around the people from the people that you know you know it's like when you meditate and you get to a certain state with your meditation where you are just peaceful and calm and you're able to really surrender to right now not right now you know, it's like, okay, I still have to do this. I have to call that person. I have to email. You know, all of those things that come up the first couple of minutes of meditation or prayer. That's, you know, the noise, basically. And then you can actually place that forward or on the side. It's like, okay, I get that, but not now. And being the not now moment is being in the present moment, basically. It's like, I don't know how to really put that into words. But I guess some of you understand what I'm trying to say. Um try and feel that peace within your heart feel that peace within your chest because some of you do have like that pressure on the chest as well because the mind is just overloaded and the heart is trying to find its way through it you know um yeah try and do some heart chakra meditations this month if that's something that you know is connected to you but overall through prayer and meditation i create a ripple effect of peace in the world and that's beautiful because the world needs a lot more peace okay you can do certain things to help the world in a small way all right um okay scorpio let's just jump into your tarot i feel like we should just pick up the deck oh, wow okay where are you going i got you <laughs> Um, yeah, let's just pick up the deck. Let's ring the bell a little bit. All right, clear out that energy for you. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Do I stay where I'm at in the road that I know, or do I take on something new? What are we doing, Scorpio? still here okay let's see where's my Scorpios what is coming in for my Scorpios in this month for the month of February for the month of February wow that's beautiful that's Aquarius for you Aquarius energy is coming through and I know that some Scorpios are not that good with Aquarius it's just a thing it's nothing personal it's just, you know, not all of my Scorpios vibe with Aquarius. It's, it's just what it is. It's your fellow fixed sign though. But the Aquarius season does have a little gift for you. <clears throat> you need to speak up, Scorpio, because your throat chakra is blocked. Speak your truth. Stand in your truth. This is all about embracing your true nature. The real you. Like, and in all your flaws and just embrace them and, and um, let them work for you. Because certain things that you've been pushing away for a long time are those things that really do make you unique. And some have felt 
like some of you was even in your teenage years that that thing that now makes you unique was the thing that made you stand out and you just really was trying to really fit in in that period of time in your life but overall i feel something is coming to towards you a star to wish upon a light at the end of the tunnel you know you see there we go there you are came out with the entire deck but that's the only card that came up right here we go this is beautiful something is coming in that makes you feel blessed like wow i'm lucky or wow i'm so glad that this worked out or wow i'm really in alignment with i'm just happy overall you know this is a queen of cups this is you in your highest energy scorpio coming towards the queen of cups very powerful together with the star cards just something overall is a wish coming true for some of you it has to do with pregnancy and for others of you it's just something you really really wished upon like you really wish that something like that could come into your energy and will come into your world and it's happening like it's coming into your reality it's happening you know and here we have the tower you know on top of the deck that energy is just it's just like it's happening for you scorpio something is coming in that you've wanted for a long time there we go oh we have another card that wanted to come out for you six six okay six 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 of pentacles and six of swords so something is coming in a much more peaceful water for you you see you go from troubled water uneasy into an easy part is everything completely fixed is everything completely you know as it should be and you know up until all the details no it's not all figured out but it's coming into a period where you can actually work towards that so you're getting something you know you're receiving either it's a, it's a certain type of situation with another person that you resolve certain problems or certain things and you can actually work together i do see it's like that equal give and take of like um i think for some of you it's really all about speaking your truth what has been bothering you scorpio what have you been sort of you know pushing away or shoving under the rock and just you know i'll get to that later i'll get to it later but it was just so much at one point you just really felt so disconnected from from the relationship or from the partnership or from yourself you know and your truth and just what makes you happy like you maybe you were so far removed from knowing actually what made you happy because you were just doing things to fit into a certain situation or to just be looked at in a certain way and i think right now you're finding your own way again also if it's it, sorry if it's really with another person i see you guys coming to common waters and are really much better in communicating uh, your wants and your needs together whether it's a love relationship partnership anything like that it's just with with a person that um that you needed that from basically it's like okay no, I'm ready to take on my responsibilities and I have been putting away for quite some time is what I'm feeling the other person is saying. Um, so, you know, going to the next step in a situation. Some of you just really like, you've come into a certain level of receiving blessings and feeling really you know good and stable when it comes to your finance and stuff like that and now it's the time for you you really want to do something back some of you really have a soul calling of like i want to go to a three world country and i want to help out i just want to do something beyond myself and beyond my own life and that's what i'm feeling for some of you you really are coming into a point where you feel like i feel my soul is calling me to do something and i'm just gonna go out and do it and you are you really are going just gonna go out and do it you see libra is here as well libra energy in with justice so things are playing out in a fair and just manner you see and then we have the page of cups so overall i feel like there's much more lighter energy coming through for some of you um valentine's day is gonna be you know that moment of romance you're gonna be surprised by something um this is not for all of you and i don't want you to cling on to the 14th of february like it's you know it's everything <laughs> I think that um, some of you have high expectations when it comes to that and you end up disappointing yourself 
with that and and I don't want that to happen either because one sec yeah like I said it's a nice it's it's a nice day you know it's it's a way of like expressing the love you have for somebody maybe for somebody who doesn't know you know <laughs> and overall okay it is a beautiful um day like it's a day of love sharing love with one another and i think every day should be felt that day. but it's also nice that there is a day where you know it's extra express but it's also very um commercial in a way you know of um buying each other expensive gifts i think it's about the little things and it's about the thought but overall, I don't want you to feel like, oh, I don't have anybody for Valentine's Day and it makes you feel less about yourself. No, go treat yourself on something nice or go take out your single girlfriends and go and have a nice dinner together or some drinks, I don't know, you know, or do um do a nice, I don't know, feminine meditation together, you know, sending out each other love energy. I don't know anything that will take you out of that energy of like, I don't have anybody for Valentine's Day. I mean... No, we're not. We are progressed as far as, you know, to a certain level, Scorpio. And I know you guys, you know, are um, sometimes alone, but never really lonely. You know, <laughs> that's something different. <laughs> but let's just move on. Let's get out of that energy. Page of Cups, Five of Swords. And then we have the communication of the King of Cups. So I do see that communication of like... Um, like I picked up on right here. It's like, okay, I'm ready to do my part. I'm, I'm ready, you know, progressing in its energy. Go from the page of cup to the king. That's serious. You know? But I want to see why the five of swords is here. Because I want to see the intention of that person. Ah, it is. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay. For some of my Scorpios, they are really going to a higher level of commitment. Maybe it's moving in together. Maybe it's really expressing each other's feelings for one another. Or um, it's actually, you know, I don't know, proposal or something like that. I don't want you to cling on to, oh, I'm going to get proposed to. But what I'm seeing is there's a le deeper level of commitment. And I feel there's an ending to a way of communication. You both were keeping things from one another. Or maybe this is for you. It's, it's with somebody else. Or it could be a previous relationship, something like that, added, you know, connected to your own personal life. But I feel overall you're coming out of that because the communication is way better. It's like honesty. What I feel with this is that the high priestess, it's like if there is something that has to do with expectation, Scorpio. It's like you expect something and it doesn't go that way. And then you feel like, oh, well, I didn't really get what I wanted. No, but you got what you needed. You got what you need from the situation to be able to evolve and grow, to learn from it, to move on to something better, to either close a chapter or open a new one. It's like, it's like have a little bit more trust in your, in your feminine side. Have a little bit more trust in your intuition that's telling you like, listen, it's okay. And when your mind is going to race, you know, and going to like, yeah, but it didn't work out the way I thought it really would, you know, it would. And it's like, where is this new beginning? Where is this person? Where is the communication? It's like, have faith in divine timing. And I feel some of you are really fed up with divine timing. Um, <laughs> and others of you find really a more peace within that. Because there is peace with found within that Scorpio for you. But I do overall see like a really deep connection, like a love connection. I do see communication coming in from a person who really has feelings towards you, strong feelings. And that may not be for all my Scorpios, but for a lot of you, that communication is coming in. Yet for there's this part, you know, um, some of my Scorpios, because I'm reading for a lot of people, um, your intuition is telling you something off about this and if your intuition is telling you it's not completely the, you know what it is i don't know the words are nice but i don't feel it when the person is talking to me trust your intuition okay and and choose to disconnect from that and 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 choose your own pathway and you if you're already set up something and all of a sudden a person's coming back in and you know mercury retrograde starts one day after valentine's day so that's gonna be a hmm show you know <laughs> i'm just saying now so feelings are being heightened um masculine is picking up on the energy already 
that's what I'm feeling but overall I do see a beautiful connection but if your intuition is telling you it's not the way you know it's something up about it there's something off about it okay and it's not that the person has bad intentions it's just like not completely uh, the way it should be but look at that how beautiful is this six of wands and then we have the full card coming in so there is a new beginning in love okay they there really is whether that's your own self-love journey and you you're reconnecting with a part of you within yourself and your intuition is starting to heighten up again all of that that's beautiful and you're being really praised um for doing that i do see you booking success with something and it's like being celebrated for taking on a new journey i don't know whether that's with another person or whether it is by yourself but overall when you really make that decision coming from the heart chakra what you feel guided to do where your mind is you know sort of blocked in it's like i don't know the answer but your heart knows you feel it and you start following that pathway you start to receive a lot of success and recognition for your hard work but also for being in alignment with what you're meant to do that's what i'm picking up very strongly for you Okay, let me see if I can pick up on something else. So we have the Six of Wands with the full card. I do see like somebody is really crazy about you, Scorpio. Ace of Swords with the Page of Pentacles. Yes, it's like, let's start over. Let's start a new beginning. But it's like almost like you're holding on to an old way it was. If that makes sense. It's like an old way that person used to show up in your life. You're like, mm, I'm not sure. You know, and some of you are really not ready to con connect, to really go for something. Some of you are juggling between two people. Others of you, it's like your job and another person. Five of Wands. There's like, might be minor delays when it comes to it, to, um, that higher level of commitment or starting that new beginning there might be some delays but it's coming in for you so you have the three of pentacles working together on something you got you really are getting um somebody coming towards you yes it's really speaking the truth and some of you really being set free by that truth it's like wow now i really know after all these years how it really was what, what what it was about and i can now let it go i can be free but for others of you i feel that you're coming through as a nine of pentacles meaning that whether you're single or not you are your own person and you're standing in your own truth and you're standing in your own power and you're reclaiming your own power you're not giving it away you're not overextending your own energy towards others you're keeping things for yourself as well you're nurturing yourself you're nurturing your body your mind your soul your spirit the whole everything the whole package first it's self-love first that's what i'm feeling that's what i'm hearing and that's what's coming in for you you're being guided to really take care of you your needs your wants your passions first and your truth and it's like there's like these major swords coming through in your reading it's like speak it exactly ten of swords it's like i'm not going to set myself up for disappointment or for people letting me down and then i cannot move forward i need it to do it by myself i need to have that home feeling within myself so nobody can ever take that away from me i don't know why i'm hearing that so strongly let me see what else i'm picking up on Yes, Ace of Wands, that's your new beginning. You have another Ace. And it came right on top of the Ace of Swords. It is a new beginning. It might be with a new per with the same person. But there's a new way of doing things. It's, it's 2020 now. There we go. That's what I needed. The Empress is here. Self-love queen. Taking care of your body. Some of you are actually carrying a child or... Um, trying to conceive a child or a new project you know it's a new beginning it's it's new life it's a new life you know the queen of swords coming through as well yes exactly okay and then we have the sun card with the knight 
of wands and then we have the nine nine of wands so knight of wands and nine of wands some of you it's a leo energy that's coming through for others you it's a fire sign a younger fire sign and it's like almost like you're you're you need to take time to heal first scorpio if you're not ready to jump into something you know completely that's because you still have certain things to heal but if you find yourself offended to something because you still haven't healed certain parts within yourself certain things that happened in the past then you may not be there yet to reconnect to somebody but it's a sign and it's good it's like when your intuition is trying to tell you something it's different than you, you're handling or you're dealing you know projecting or um you know don't want to connect to something because of fear fear for what might happen instead of embracing it as something as a gift from the universe as a lesson right all right that's what i'm picking up for you right now i do see a lot of beautiful things coming for you scorpio but I also know that it's it's um a lot of inner work you know it really is but don't stand in your own way if you feel like something is coming into your life whether that's a person or it's a job or it's just anything you know an opportunity is coming in for you scorpio then try and be open with your energy for that and try and tune into your intuition if it's here for you or if it's um you know just a, a test basically i'm going to pick up let me yeah i'm gonna pick up this deck okay i'm gonna put three cards out on the table you know the drill and <laughs> you can pick one two or three cards they're all for scorpio energy but mm, maybe one connects the most to you all right three cards for scorpio three cards for scorpio please three cards for scorpio please thank you one two and three all right let's see let's get started i'm gonna ring the bell a couple times so you can tune into your intuition this is the third eye chakra um frequency for people who haven't <laughs> you know seen my readings before i'm gonna ring it a couple times you can take a deep breath in or you can roll your shoulders back or just close your eyes if that's you know, if you're in a situation where that's safe right now i don't know where you're at but um yeah just do whatever you feel and pick one of the three cards or two three Here we go let's jump in first card beautiful that's that nine of pentacles and that empress energy that came through your independence is a foundation for your strength and your success your independence is a foundation for your strength and your success that's your message and you have card number two peace oh we need a little bit of that there is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully that's your message there's no need to worry scorpio everything is working out beautifully i love that felt that one and then we have a beautiful golden opportunity i love that card as well and look on both cards there are some dolphins that's that's a sign scorpio this month important doors are opening for you right now walk through them important doors are opening for you right now walk through them that's true star card was here all right well let's just stay in a dolphin vibe if you're still here and you listen to my reading for this entire almost 25 minutes i really love and appreciate you guys leave me a dolphin emoji if that's something you can put on your phone and maybe if you're on a laptop or something just 
you know, type down dolphin. So I know you were here and I can send you some positive energy and just overall. It's something we like to do. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. But um, if, if you don't want to, you know, join in, it's also totally fine. Thank you for listening to this reading. I love you guys so much. And again, there's no need to worry. Everything is working out beautifully, Scorpio. All right. Bye. Have a beautiful month of February.